All right, I am gonna take you through a 10 minute stretch sequence here. Grab a pad for your knee if you need it. We're gonna start with the hip flexors. So we're gonna get down on one knee. Wanna make sure you have those hips tucked under, glutes engaged, abs are tight. You're gonna maintain that position as you gently lean forward into this stretch. You should feel it all through that leg and side of your body that the knee is down. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gently pressing in and pushing back. So you'll see me kind of rock in and out of this stretch here. And as I push in, you're gonna push that front knee slightly out away from your body. Just a little bit. And you can rock in and out of this stretch as many times as you need, but you wanna make sure that hip is tucked under like that. Hold that position as you lean in gently, and then you can take your outside arm and reach up over your head for a little extra stretch there, nice and slow. Always nice and slow when you're doing these stretches. I like to rock in and out of this one to kind of get that hip flexor area warmed up. If it gets to be too painful, you can rock out and then gently rock back in. And then of course, reaching that arm up overhead and back down to just kind of move everything around as you're doing this stretch here. We'll spend a couple minutes on this side and then a couple minutes on the opposite side as well. Just gently rocking back in and out of the stretch. Just a side note here, that back foot, the foot in the back, you wanna make sure the top of your foot is turned down. And then as we switch sides, gently and slowly, switching over to the other side. Same thing here, so make sure that hip is tucked under, abs are engaged as you gently press in. Okay, you guys, uh, if you've been following me for any amount of time or you work with me directly, you hear me talk about that anterior pelvic tilt. Okay, we wanna correct the anterior pelvic tilt. Okay, before you go into any movement and our stretching is no different. Again, just reaching up over the head with your arm as you gently press in to that stretch. And then, of course, slowly rocking that knee out. You're gonna see me kind of wiggle my knee here, just barely. That front knee, you're just kind of lateral movement with that knee just to kind of loosen up that hip in a different plane of motion. Right there, see? Just kind of gently rocking that knee out, leaning in, pressing in nice and slow. And then rocking back, a little ham, hammy stretch here. And then pressing back into that same stretch. Again, making sure that those hips are tucked under, okay, that your glute is engaged on the side that the knee is down. deep breaths, of course stretching, um, sorry, of course breathing while you're stretching helps your body to just relax into the stretch here. Gently rock in and out of the stretch a few times, reaching up overhead again, rocking that knee side to side laterally, that front knee. We're gonna go into a little different pose here. So now you're gonna drop your elbow inside that front knee. Okay, you're gonna bring the back knee up. Okay, a little extra stretch here. Notice I kinda rock forward and backward a couple times. Then go into that rotation, reach up toward the ceiling, drop the elbow back down, rotate, reach up. Again, nice and slow, not forcing it, still taking those deep breaths. 
think we'll do about four or five of these rotation, rotating up, reaching up toward the ceiling, dropping the elbow down, and then gently, slowly come out of that stretch. We're gonna switch sides. Same thing on the other side, drop that elbow on the inside of the knee, bring that back knee up, a couple forward, backward rocking motions. And then we're just gonna rotate up, reach toward the ceiling, drop the elbow back down, rotate up, about four or five reps on this side as well. rock back we're gonna move the pad out of the way if you were using one so now we're gonna stretch out the hips a little more so we're just gonna get into this position here with those knees out and again hips are tucked under so not letting your low back arch okay now we're just gonna kind of move our hips in like kind of a circular uh, motion Okay, just clockwise a few times and then counterclockwise a few times and then a couple forward, backward rocking movements. Nice and slow, bring those knees together. I'll reach up overhead here. A couple neck rolls on each side in each direction. And now we'll come up to our feet again, nice and slow here. We're gonna work our way down into this pose. So really take your time with it. Notice how I'm kind of rocking back and forth. Both of my feet are flat on the mat. Elbows are on the inside of my knees, pushing my knees out. Take a couple deep breaths. Try to relax your body into the stretch. Now you might not be able to go all the way down. So you might have to start with something like this which is grabbing your ankles, stretch out those hamstrings, just squat down, stand up. And then again, kind of a circular motion with the hips where you're just kind of rocking side to side. We'll go ahead and take a seat on the mat. And now we're gonna move into laying figure four. All right, so you're gonna take uh, one foot across, rest it right on the top of your knee grabbing your shin with both hands, flexing the toes of that top foot, okay? So you wanna protect the knee at this angle. So you have a hold of your shin with one hand and then pressing the knee away with your opposite hand. And then again, just kind of gently rocking in and out of this stretch. Remember to breathe. Couple deep breaths here. Slowly switching sides. Again, keeping that top foot toes flexed. Protect the knee at this angle. Pushing the knee away. Open up those hips. Now we're just gonna take a seated position on the mat, feet out nice and wide. And we're just gonna gently lean forward into the stretch. Okay, you're gonna feel this inner thighs, hamstring, low back, and then reach over to one side, reach toward the inside of your foot, or grab the ankle on that side. And then we'll do the opposite side, same thing. Reaching toward that inner foot, can also grab the ankle as well and then of course back to the center here little circular motions in the middle deep breaths now we'll move into butterfly stretch so bring those feet together kind of butterfly those knees a little bit a couple deep breaths here great job today